all right axon i'm just going to run through this installation just so you can see exactly what's going on now the thing to remember here is that this particular phoenix os install is just on its own so it is a single ssd on a sata bus and it's got two partitions on the ssd the first one is the efi boot partition with the grubbing and the commands and all the rest of it and then the second partition is the ext4 data partition for phoenix itself so what i'm going to do is go and get hold of the gear lock that you've sent me so this is just a usb stick with some files on so in here in the gear lock installers i've got here this is the gear lock that you sent me today so i'm just gonna copy that then i'll put it into the router main storage here and then what i'm going to do once that's copied there i am now going to eject the usb stick and the reason why i'm going to eject the usb stick is just so that we don't have any other partitions or any other drive structures that the uh, that gear lock can kind of get confused with on its install so as you can see here, this is now the most basic form of phoenix os with a typical efi partition and data partition so what i'm going to do now is go to the commands here so what i'm doing i'm just going to go through the commands that you've put up for doing the installation for gear lock so if you just bear with me and i'll start going through this <laughs> okay so we're getting up to this first thing so this should now show only two partitions so as we can see only one drive in with two partitions and obviously partition two is where we want to tell gear lock where the x86 files are so let me just give that number two let's enter that okay there we go so straight away it's failed okay again this is the problems that have had n numerous problems with the, the various versions. I think I've tried three or four versions of gear lock now and some of them will get past this point and then others won't. So obviously right now gear lock can't find the um, dnsrd.image and it can't find it where I don't know whether it's the EFI partition or whether it is the actual system partition or the data partition. So as you can see, there we are. That's exactly where we're up to on that last one that you've done.